All right, episode 16 of the Bazooka Technical Series, and this is gonna be part two of the beginning of building combinations. Last week we talked about using our lead hand attack, followed by our rear knee or a rear kick, uh, and that's the basis of the combinations. You wanna do lead to rear, or then we're gonna go rear to our lead attack. And that's gonna help us um, on our following episode, which is going to be putting all of these different combinations together uh, in more volume um, and in more of a sequence. So that's where we're gonna put more combinations together next week. So as of now, we're gonna work on rear attack and using our lead attack. And some of the biggest combinations we're gonna work on is our right straight to left kick or right straight to left knee. Uh, those are the basis to any um, opposite side attack and combination. So right now I'm gonna bring in Troy and we're gonna start showing you different ways to build in um, these types of combinations. Okay, so I have Troy Sheridan here with me and we're gonna start building um, the combinations. So the key thing uh, I want you to remember here, if you're just seeing this episode and this is the first time you're watching the technical series, go back, learn how to throw a proper straight right, learn how to throw um, you know, your, your switch left kick, and then this way um, building combinations becomes easier rather than just throwing a crappy right hand and a crappy left kick. Um, you're learning to do both properly with technique. So we're gonna start off with our basic one, straight right, left kick. We'll do a few of those and then we're gonna do straight right, follow left knee. So the key thing I want you to do and on the start of any combination is make sure you step. So I'm gonna ask you to step for the right hand. Now I don't want you in your stance too long because after this, the switch is gonna to be too hard and too long. So when you throw your right hand, it's more of a right straight. So I'm not overly throwing it, I'm keeping my footwork um, nice and controlled and nice and short. This way my switch isn't so long. So I'm on the other side. making sure I'm always on my calf, returning to my position. So it's important to enter, so I'm entering with my step. I kick, I put down my lead foot, I pull my back foot out. It's important to build exits to your combinations, otherwise you're falling into mid-range, which makes it very difficult to move exit and you're open to counter punches. So building the exit to your combination. There's my exit, walk in, enter, exit, enter, exit. Back to the other side, now we're gonna build in the left knee. Okay, some other hand attacks you can do is we're gonna throw right hook, left kick. So again, rear hand to lead kick. That's the basis of today's lesson. Same combination now with the lead knee instead. So there you have it, different ways to use your rear hand in your lead side attack. So the last one you can do, it's the rear uppercut to your attack. And remember, anytime you go through my series, they're numbered. And anytime you see a rear something, that's the one you wanna follow. So I have a rear straight, I have a rear uppercut, and a rear hook video. Learn those techniques, and then learn how to throw the switch left knee and the switch left kick. Then you put them together. This way, everything is with good technique. Uppercut, left kick. Knee. Good. 
So those who follow my series know how important bag work is to bazooka kickboxing and bazooka kickboxing style. So Troy here is just using any rear attack focus knee and here he's using the wrecking ball. This way it shows a good angle for his knee. So he's really using his straight right lead knee. That's one of Troy's favorite combinations. Then he can mix that in with a rear hook to lead knee. With the wrecking ball is pretty good because you can also work almost 45 body kicks. So Troy can work on his left 45 kick at the same time. And then mixes it with knee. And it's not a bad thing, Troy once in a while uses his jab just as a range finder, but then you can see how he really sets his rear hand for the power. Okay, so one of the most, uh, the easiest ways in the bag that most people have in their gym is the long bag or the tie bag. So this is a perfect bag. Um, why I like the long bag is because you can play with ranges a little bit more. I don't constantly have to stay long. I can mix in inside fighting. I can mix in lead low kicks, body kicks, high kicks. So this bag allows you to mix levels and that's what makes fighting um, from a beginner to an intermediate level is have the ability to change levels and this is the bag that allow you to do it. So you're going to see me mixing different levels with my punches whether it's straight hooks or uppercuts. Just like all of our other episodes, using a partner back and forth drilling will take it from a beginner to more of an intermediate advanced style drilling. So Troy and I are just gonna flow off of it. We're gonna start with our straight right follow left kick, straight right follow knee, and we're just gonna flow together. Uh, so just try to follow along. Right cross, left knee. Oh, good start. Left kick. Hook me. Let's go uppercut kick. Uppercut knee. Okay, now we're just gonna mix in rear low kicks off of it. So just take it off the leg. So I'm gonna do right straight, inside low. So this way now we're changing levels, changing directions. Hook inside. Okay, to make it even more advanced, I'm gonna use it and I'm gonna try to attack the back leg now. So I'm gonna throw hook, back leg. So now the person can throw anything. We're just gonna use our guard. And um, come over here for a sec, Troy. We're gonna use our guard and the person who's attacking can mix in whatever they like. I can go inside, body kick, rear leg, whatever I want. Yeah. <laughs> 
good. Constantly change levels um, and mix levels with your kicks and your punches. That will take any basic combination from a beginner to an intermediate level. So we're going to discuss three common mistakes when using your rear hand lead kick uh, to build your combinations. The first thing is having your stance too long. When you're here with a long stand, you don't want to have such a long stance because it's very difficult to switch and it's too slow. So remember what I mentioned earlier, make sure you have a shorter stance once you plan on switching your stance. That's the first one. The second one is not building in an exit. And Fighting is about back and forth action. So you want to be able to hit and avoid being hit. That's why we implement exit. So after my combination, remember, foot comes down, back foot exit. If you're more of an advanced style fighter, you're able to throw your kick. You can come back southpaw if you want, and then back into your orthodox position, or one of the ways I like to do it, boom, foot back down, right on the floor, back out with your foot, create an exit. The third one is hand positioning when doing all these combinations. You want to make sure your hand position is nice and tight defensively because anytime during your combination, your opponent can counter you. So you want to make sure your hand position is nice and tight. So when I'm throwing, my hand position is constantly tight. The biggest mistake I see people make, their hands are constantly flaring all over the place. So with bazooka style kickboxing, we like to have a nice strong structure in our feet as well as pillar in our hands. Bang, bang foot position, exit, everything nice and strong, nice and powerful, and nice and clean. So there you go, this is the second part of building basic combinations. The first part is lead hand rear attacks, part two, which was today's episode, which is rear hand lead kicks and attacks. So now that you know both, next episode we're gonna be putting more volume and more um, progression together. So we're gonna be working on punch to kick combinations, um, focusing on um, any attack so I can end with my left hand to throw my rear kick, or I can finish with my right hand and attack with my lead side. So it's gonna be punch kick combinations. The episode after is gonna be one of my favorites is kicking first, then following hand. Uh, both very important ways of building combinations. Hope you're enjoying the technical series and we'll see you next week.